Hey, Peter Buswell here for DrVOIP.com. We're getting ready to release a short tail system administration version 12. And in the process of doing that, uh, we have created some tech tips and tools that we feel might be useful to those of you either deploying short tail solutions or perhaps troubleshooting short tail solutions. In a previous blog that you can find at uh, blog.drvoip.com, uh, we discussed the um, use of the short tail call manager to create WAV files. Very useful tool. Uh, it guarantees that you're going to get a WAV file that uh, works with a short tail auto attendant or works with a short tail ECC uh, IVR application. It does provide the uh, CC ITT MU law 8008 bit uh, mono uh, requirement that short tail has for WAV files. But Sometimes it's not appropriate to use the call manager. For example, if you're using an outside uh, recording studio to produce your recordings, you may have to import them. And to import them, uh, you're going to want to make sure that they meet the create the, create, um, the correct um, file formats. So w what we've done was to create a batch sound file converter that will enable you to just pull in a, you know, 10, 20, 30 files at a time uh, and create uh, shoreware compatible WAV files that work with a predictable degree of certainty. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You'll probably be able to load or download the file from uh, the forum section of drvoip.com. Uh, if you have trouble with this, send me an email and, and uh, we'll get a copy of the batch file out to you. Um, let me uh, show you how uh, to operate this software. So let me show you how this uh, batch sound file converter for Shortel works. You will have uh, downloaded this um, file. It's a zip folder. And when you extract all, you can name where you want to put the utility. Go ahead and accept the default, and it will create a batch sound file converter folder unzipped. Inside this folder, you're going to find um, three files. One, the SOX application itself, and then our batch utility instructions. So what you'll then want to do is um, go get your WAV files. Let's assume I have this bunch of WAV files here. I'm going to right click, copy them. This is from a folder enabled raw WAV. And then I'm going to take that, I'll go back here to my batch converter utility and paste these right into that folder. This will uh, cause the batch file to initialize asking me if I want to run it. Go ahead and run that puppy. And you should see something that looks like processing sound files, done, blah, 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 blah. I'll press any key to continue. If I press my continue key, we notice that there is a new folder now called Shortel Ready. And if we click on that, we'll see that these are our reformatted WAV files. In the uh, event that you need to create uh, more of these files, it'll be necessary to uh, go back to your batch sound file and uh, delete this folder. This folder is recreated every time you run the utility. Uh, so move your formatted folders to uh, the folder in which you want them uh, to be maintained, and then come back here and delete this in preparation for your next WAV file import. Um, I hope you'll find this utility of value. And on behalf of drvoip.com, I thank you very much for viewing.